Welcome everybody to Otter Fox Productions playthrough of Fox Folk. So this is a cute little game that I found on Steam not too while ago, uh, just about August as you can see there at the bottom of the screen. Um, this is uh, designed and produced by a single developer, so kudos first off to Cool Hand Games for their fantastic artisanship in making such a wonderful little treat for us to play. So I'm going to go ahead and do a quick little playthrough of this game. Um, I'm hoping you all will get the chance and opportunity to enjoy the video that I create, but more importantly support the artists that created this game. Uh, they've got a lot of potential here. It's just absolutely adorable. Um, it's short, it's quaint, but sometimes humble beginnings lead to something much greater. So without further ado, let's go ahead and give it a playthrough. Um, I have played this game briefly beforehand, so it has the opportunity for me to continue my game, but I'm just going to go ahead and start from scratch. So without further ado, let's get this party started. Okay, so the first thing I need to do is talk to Mrs. Fox. I just came from outside. There is snow everywhere. Winter came early. What are we going to do? Nothing's ready. We have no provisions. Maybe there's some scraps out in the woods. It's up to you, hon. We're counting on you. I have to stay with the girls. If you don't know where to start, remember you have that Foxing for Dummies book on the bookshelf. Good luck. I love you. Alright, let's go consult that oracle over here. Foxing for Dummies. Welcome to Foxing for Dummies for your definitive guide on how to fox. Controls. A. Attack, activate, pick up. S. Sneak drop. Arrow keys, move and select. And P for pause. As a fox, you are a predator, and as such you hunt smaller animals. These include birds, squirrels, and rabbits. Each one have different nutritional merit. To obtain those calories, you must first sneak up on an animal and then attack. You can then carry the prey back to your burrow and throw it in the pot in the kitchen. You can only carry one prey at a time. Inside your burrow, you need to keep your family warm, and collecting wood is essential. You can collect sticks and logs, which can burn for varying amounts of time. You can carry three sticks or one log along with one prey. Carry the wood back to your burrow and throw it in the fireplace. You can also store food or wood you currently don't need in your storage area. For later use, use S to drop. Keep an eye on the time of day and weather. Going out in a blizzard is a good way to get lost. Use the book next to your bed to save and end the day on your own. Your family is counting on you. Good luck from us at Foxing for Dummies. Alright, well without further ado, let's go talk to my sweet, sweet Mrs. Fox. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> Been asking to help hunt. I told them maybe next year. Well, let's go talk to my daughters then. Daddy's always busy. Eh, it sounds about the story of everyone's lives. Is it snowing outside, Daddy? Probably. Alright, so that's our fireplace. This is our storage area. I saw the s stewing pot. Let's go outside and pick up a stick. Ooh. Sneaking up on a squirrel! Oh. I mean, not, may not be a good fox quite yet. Yes! Success! Go! Quick! Bring it back! Let me go store this squirrel. Alright, so I'm not exactly quite sure to do this, I'm just gonna drop it right where it is. I'm also gonna drop my sticks, because, you know... If I can collect more today, I'll do that. I have a feeling time is fleeting since I spent the majority of the time reading a book. Right, let's try not to get lost here. Oh, look at this! That's cute. Is this a raccoon? Anything new in the neighborhood? I hear Mr. Badger has a stockpile for winter. Not that I'm, you know, interested in it or anything. Hmm. Hmm. This is a lovely woods. Ooh. Got me a squirrel. Oh no. That's not a squirrel. That's a rabbit. Totally means I miscalculated that jump for that reason. Yeah, that's what it was. 
<laughs> oh, another squirrel. It's too bad that I have a rabbit in my paws. I like how I have some footprints to kind of remind me of where I've been. The problem is, is that, you know, it doesn't last forever. So I just kind of have to guess where my home is. Oh, it's getting dark. Oh, oh okay. Good landmark. Oh, apparently I don't live very far away from Mr. Raccoon. Okay, so I, I didn't collect any more wood, which is really unfortunate because I was hoping to have done that. Doing good on hunger. Oh, okay. The, you said that already. Uh, let's end the day. Okay, okay. So far, so good. I'm not starving yet. I was figured it was the first thing that was going to happen. What are you going to say to me today? Hey, hon. Working hard? Nope. I mean, I will be. Teenage Mutant Ninja Squirrels are my favorite. That's kind of cute. Hi, Daddy. How are you today? I have no response. Hopefully my squirrel over there isn't rotten. We'll see. As the day begins... Ooh, I see some snow. Uh oh Hopefully it doesn't mean a blizzard's coming. Mr. Raccoon. That's pretty easy. Okay. Well, so the first thing I have to say about this game is that it's really cute. It's really simple. Uh, the premise is pretty straightforward. You've got uh, a collection system, and then with that you've got two bars to maintain. I don't really seem to have any issues with my energy, so I don't have to worry about that. I don't have to worry about hit points or health. I'm really just trying to collect food and collect wood to keep my family warm and fed. Uh, so it doesn't really provide a lot of depth. However, this is not a game about depth. This is a game about character. In this case, um, it's very artistic in its renditions. It's you know it's a pixelated game, which comes with some drawbacks when it comes to aesthetics, but in return, you have a lot to give in such simple amount of art. So these trees are very straightforward. You, they're built with the shadow installed, you know, um, but they give a slight charm to the forest. Um, sometimes it's hard to tell if these rocks are uh, twigs and you kind of get your hopes up and then you realize that you're chasing after rocks and it doesn't help you any. <gasps> Another stick. See, every little piece you pick up just inspires you a little bit, motivates you to go a little further. Alright, so I got two pieces of wood. That'll be enough to keep us warm. Oh, uh, man. I didn't want the day to end so fast. I barely collected anything. I've got some food, so... I'm gonna hold off on the food until I'm, like, absolutely starving. Alright, so apparently y'all were keeping the vents open, the windows open over there. Okay, so far, so good. Uh, what do you guys say to me today? Anything new? Hey, working hard, barely. Okay. This is a pretty nice little house. Do I want to stop? Yeah, I'm gonna stop now here. Uh, yeah, so I think I'm gonna stop doing that and just let the days happen. See if I can get anything more out of the day. Alright, Mrs. Fox, what do you got for me? Hey, hun, working hard? Oh, okay, that was similar. Similar to yesterday. Staying inside too long there, Mrs. Fox. I love running around screaming! That sounds like a lot of children, I know. Alright, so hunger's just about halfway, so I'm starting to get my eyeballs peeled for more food. I know I have some stored, but that's kind of the point. Um, wood is really the issue I'm having right now. My viewable area is so small that it's hard to tell. 
I like going in diagonals because it seems to, at least, the perception is that I move faster. I don't know if I actually see more when I do this or not, but I'm just concerned I'm not going to find anything. Winter is hard. Just a twig. That's all I'm looking for. So the music is nice. The music is a little repetitive, but hey, you can't complain about that when you're dealing with a game of this, you know, magnitude here. Um, but it has that same MIDI MIDI file type of feel and charm that this very game has, so it fits wonderfully. Um, if you're looking for a Smash OST, you're not going to find it here in Fox Folk, um, but that's not really why we're playing this game. And it looks like I'm going to starve and die. I didn't see anything out here today. No birds, no squirrels, no rabbits, no twigs. Can I cut down a tree? That'd be great. I feel like I should be able to craft something. Ooh. Hi, Mr. Badger. Good day, Mr. Fox. How are things? Great. Can I steal your stockpile? That'd be great. I mean, I'm totally a nice guy. Great neighbor. Yeah. It's that Mr. Raccoon guy you gotta watch out for. Okay, so I'm starting to... Oh, a stick. Oh, yes. Give it to me. Give it to me. I'm starting to feel how long a day is. I'm working my way back towards my home. I have a feeling I could have stayed a little bit longer. I love the... Sh See, now the shadows really just work. It just feels good, looks good. Um, let's see, there's my home. Okay, and here's the darkness. So, at this point, I know the day is coming to an end. So, warmth is obviously very low. I'm not dead yet, so that's good. I'm also going to grab my squirrel. Let's just kind of see how much the squirrel gives, because I don't want to spend too much, if that makes sense. I want to give more than it's capable of having. Okay, so, a stick barely is going to keep us warm. Better cuddle close, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, so the squirrel gives me a lot. Not everything, but a lot. Thanks, Mrs. Fox. Okay, so I'm not going to save it. I'm just going to hang around here and wonder if I can go back outside. I'm trying to see how to maximize my time here. Okay. So from playing this before, I know that if I end the day while I'm outside, it doesn't kill me. So that's good to know. Um, it would be kind of fruitless for me to run all the way out here, catch something, and be halfway back, and then it restarts the, the day, and I don't have it see just like this. So there's a little bit of planning in that regard. All right, Mrs. Fox. This winter's going to be hard, but you can do it. I believe in you. You better hope so, otherwise you're going to starve and freeze. I want a unicorn and a guinea pig. Please, Daddy. Are you going to eat the guinea pig? I heard they're tasty. Daddy's always busy. Yes, indeed. Alright, Daddy. Let's do this. Looking for those logs. Maybe a bird. That'd be great. Alright, so I feel... Oh, oh, is that a stick? It looks like a stick to me. Yes, it is. I'm starting to get a pretty good feel for where my... Ah, it's a bird. Shh, everybody. Jump up. I am a moron. That's okay, okay. Shh. Shh. This jump is just awkward as hell. <laughs> but I guess that's kind of what the charm of... Uh, gotcha. Charm of the whole situation is that it's not perfect. Okay, you kind of have to master the art of pouncing on birds. I see any more wood on my way back home. I gotta get this out of my hands so that if I see something else, I don't want to just drop the, the meat if I don't have to. Oh, it looks like it's snowing again. Well, I might as well just throw the bird and 
Get the wood in the fire now, anyway. Okay, well, that's not going to keep anybody warm. Okay, okay. So the bird obviously is the least, then the squirrel, then the rabbit. That makes sense. Alright, so I think I'm going to do this night and then one more day and kind of just feel out how it is. I didn't get the chance to see a blizzard, but I have a feeling that nobody would see anything. Being all nice and white and stuff. The snow is definitely coming harder, though. Hmm. I feel the darkness approaching. I'm just looking for a log. Give me a log. Oh, uh, 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 see? Those two rocks, man. I'm telling you what. They get me. Side by side. Okay, so... That looks like all she wrote. This day is coming to an end here. Alright, well, staying out doesn't hurt me any. It might affect my, my hunger or my warmth. It's a good, it's a good idea to check, which, of course, I can't see the bar now, so... It's somewhere between freezing and already dead freezing, so... Okay, so let's see if... Yeah, so I have zero warmth. You know, it's definitely possible that it goes down faster when I'm outside in the snow. It's an interesting prospect. It's something I'm not exactly sure yet. Okay, well, let's... Yeah, let's save it. This will be the last day. Day five. That was a good run through. I didn't die. So. Although we are cold. Alright, Mr. Fox, what do you got for me? Hey, hun, working hard. Trying not to kill you. Let's see, I'm gonna. Oh, oh, oh boy. I don't really need food, but I'll take it. Is that a twig? Oh my god, is that a twig? It's not a toy. Okay, you know what? I don't really need food right now. I need wood. I hate not going after- Oh, yes! So unfortunate. Get- get the squirrel. Get the squirrel. I uh, totally should have got him. Totally. Gotcha. Okay, run, 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 run. Uh, this is going to be a lucrative day. I can feel it. I already got myself three pieces of wood. There's a twig just to the south. And then there's another squirrel. Mm, tasty. Okay. I'm feeling my killer instincts, huh? And now I'm lost. Okay, there we go. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, there's a squirrel. Okay. So, run! Uh, uh. Okay. We got a stockpile here. We're not going to starve, and we're not going to freeze tonight. Oh, baby. Yes, 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 yeah. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I'm failing miserably at this. Still feel like it's really just awkward. Gotcha. Okay, okay, I know where that stick is. I just gotta run for it. That time said, no, don't get distracted by more squirrels. I knew. I knew where that stick was. I knew. Like, past tense. Knew. Alright, fine. We'll just freeze. I get it. I gotta run. Gotta go. Okay, so I have the wood. I need to spend it, of course. But the timing was pretty great as well, so... I can't really complain about that. We're good. We're good. We got plenty of food. So in the event of a famine, we will not eat each other. 
which I would probably do. I would probably do. Alright, that's the best we've seen so far. Alright guys, well thank you guys so much for spending some time with me as I play Fox Folk. Uh, thank you again Cool Hand Games for, for just creating this little uh, uh, gem of a game. Yeah, there's not much to it, as you can tell. This is pretty much as far as the game has when it comes to complexity. Is um, Having good days, having bad days, having blizzards, talking and getting some more of the fun little um, nuances of the conversations going. But for the most part, this is probably all I'm going to do on this game. Uh, check them out. Uh, cool Hand Games, Box Folk. I found it on Steam. It came out in August of 2017. So thank you guys so much, and we look forward to seeing you in the next video.